Picture the scene, dear viewer. You stumble out of a gentleman's drinking establishment in the small hours of the morning, and after quaffing one too many brandies and fine ales, you're in the mood for a hearty meal of a satisfying nature before you head home. Your first port of call is likely to be the nearest expensive eatery, where the staff will be more than happy to furnish you with high quality food that can take the edge off your drunken hunger. But what if it all goes wrong? What if there's no takeaways open in your area, or you don't fancy waiting in line with a bunch of drunken assholes who look like they're planning to jump you as soon as you get outside, or the shrapnel left in your pocket isn't enough to purchase the meal of your dreams. Well, fortunately Snacksters have anticipated your dilemma and they're here to provide a solution. Feast your eyes on the microwave doner kebab. Now, if you're watching this in America, you're probably wondering what the fuck a doner kebab even is. Well, according to my extensive research on Wikipedia, it's a Turkish dish consisting of slices of grilled lamb served in pita bread with a variety of salads and sauces. They come in all shapes and sizes, but you can find them in pretty much every British takeaway from Inverness to London, and over the years they've become kind of a staple for late night drinkers like myself. I mean, they're definitely going to shorten your lifespan, but if you're looking for something to soak up the booze and prevent a hangover the next day, they'll get the fucking job done, believe me. Go to any town centre on a Sunday morning and I can pretty much guarantee you'll find spilled salad, chilli sauce and chunks of meat scattered across the pavement near every taxi rank. I've never fucking understood why you'd want to microwave a frozen one at home, but whatever. Maybe you just hate yourself or something. Either way, today's the day my curiosity finally gets satisfied. I'm gonna cook this thing, I'm gonna eat it and I'm gonna do my best to review it. Anyway, you know the score with ready meals like this, so I'm not going to bore you with the ingredients or any of that crap. There's some generic meat, some pita bread and some weird garlic sauce stuff, and that's your lot. You stick it in a microwave and then like Tatiana, you open wide and try to think pleasant thoughts. So let's see what this thing looks like when it's cooked. A few minutes later. Holy shit man, that turned out better than I expected. <laughs> Nah, I'm just fucking with you. That's an actual doner kebab from my local takeaway, which I present to you for size comparison purposes. And definitely not because I'm planning to eat it after this. Not a great plan. Anyway, are you ready for the real thing? <laughs> well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. And now it's time for the part that I'm definitely not looking forward to, the eating. Oh, Christ. Well, let's see what it's like. I've kind of torn it. I'm going to tear it in two, right? Because I've got the saucy bit on one side and the non-saucy bit on the other. So I want to, like, try both bits and see which one works out best. So first of all... This is just like the pita bread and the meat. Let's let's see what this tastes like. Uh. <laughs> well, there's practically no texture to the meat at all. It's just like sponge. It's like there's nothing there. The pita bread's gone all soggy because it's been done in the microwave, so not great. And it doesn't really taste of anything. Yeah. The meat's got almost no flavour to it. Yeah. Well, that's a waste of time. Yeah, I don't see the point in eating something that doesn't taste of anything. God help me. This is the bit with the scary looking garlic sauce on it. Yeah. Well, the sauce has got like a, a kind of mixture of garlic and mint, I guess. I get the mint more strongly than, than the garlic, but yeah, again, the meat tastes of absolutely nothing. The bread tastes of nothing. The whole thing is just like a big blob of desperation and sadness. I mean, damn, man. I've had some rough nights before, but like if you find yourself eating this, you know you're in a bad situation. Yeah, this is just, this is just like, um, Soylent Green for like the 21st century. It's, it's got nothing to it. 
Um, if you told me it was made out of humans, I would probably believe you. But, yeah, man, I, I can't really say I recommend Snackster's Microwave Donner Kebab, <laughs> much to my shock. I'm gonna wash this down with something a bit nicer now, like fucking bleach. Anyway, that's definitely all I've got for today. Go away. <laughs>